Next up, I want to welcome uh, RJ. RJ and I first met uh, when he was working at Exact Target, and we worked together, I think, when I was working at Slingshot SEO. And um, we got to know each other through that whole process. Super sharp guy. He's now heading up the Indianapolis office of a Chicago-based firm called Geophedia, and he's here to tell you what that social media tech company is all about. So let's give RJ a warm welcome to the stage. Geophedia, and you might not know what uh, Geophedia does, but we're a location-based social media platform. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Um, I, we all know that the volume of social media is just huge. There's billions and billions of posts, likes, and comments going up on social networks every single day. And there are a lot of uh, tools out there like Hootsuite and Sysmos that help us make sense of what's going on on the social media platforms. But those tools look for keywords and hashtags only. So they sift through the data and present to you everything that you might be looking for, like a hashtag or a keyword. And we think that you're missing a lot of the content that's available out there. In fact, it's about two thirds of social media content doesn't have the keyword or the hashtag that you're looking for. So for example, if you wanted to know what was going on with the Speakeasy, you might use Geophedia to put a geofence around Speakeasy and go in and look. If you were using a traditional tool, you might be looking for words like entrepreneurship, or the word speakeasy, or the word developer town. But people don't talk in hashtags and keywords. Instead, they just talk as they talk. And you might find content like this. You might find people talking about their work, or a ping pong match that they lost, or just showing a great photo. So two thirds of content doesn't have the keyword or the hashtag that you're looking for. And furthermore, 5% of content doesn't include any words at all. So a lot of Instagram posts as well as YouTube videos don't include the content that you're even looking for. So the only way to find it is by going location first into the data. And that's what Geophedia does. We start with location to understand the story. Geophedia is a location-based social media platform that enables organizations to discover content and locations that matter most to them. It helps them monitor those locations and then engage with that content on a real-time basis. In addition to creating lenses and providing real-time streams of that information, we have a full analytics suite that provides insights into that location data and helps you make better decisions on all of the data coming from location versus just the data you're getting from keywords or, um, or hashtags. Geophedia was founded in 2011. Uh, we have uh, approximately 35 employees, 18 of which are in our downtown office on the Circle here in Indianapolis. We have uh, about 350 customers. We've raised four million uh, Series A funding so far, and we are the pioneers in the industry with 11 US patents that cover geospatial social intelligence. We're really proud to be serving customers ranging across multiple industries, ranging from public safety to uh, law enforcement. Uh, we work with media and journalism organizations like CNN and the BBC and Associated Press, and they put lenses around newsworthy locations like Ferguson, Missouri, or Paris during the uh, Paris manhunts, and they find witnesses, they find people who are, were at the scene, and they interview them, and they, they break those news stories using Geophedia. In addition, we work with corporate security teams who do everything from fraud detection to executive security. So as executives are traveling across the globe, companies like Microsoft and Mashable and LinkedIn use us to understand what any threats around them or what's going on in those locations that matter. In addition, we work with marketers, marketers who want to understand what's going on in retail locations or any location that matters to them. For example, we work with the Mall of America. It's the largest mall in the US, and the Mall of America uses Geophedia to do everything from customer service, so if somebody says, I can't find a certain store, or I've lost my child, or did you know that you can get married at the Mall of America in their wedding chapel? They actually have a surprise and delight program powered by Geophedia that helps them find people posting pictures on Instagram of their recent nuptials at the Mall of America. So no matter the industry, really it's location that's the first thing that our customers are using to really understand what's going on on social. We're a top rated solution on G2 Crowd. We were named one of Gardner's cool vendors last year, and we're really excited to be part of the Indianapolis tech community and building our, our capabilities and technology here. Thanks to the Birch community for having us.
Nicely done, man. Obviously, both presenters practiced the timing tonight because we didn't get to slow clap anyone off. Which sorry for that. It's all right. That's all right. I'll just wait till next month. Uh, well presented. Uh, I'm really excited to hear more about that. I'm sure a lot of people have questions. Anyone want to throw out the first question? Angel. Uh, RJ. So I have geo awareness. Uh, how do I get down to what's relevant within that geography? Yeah, you can use GeoPD to put a lens around the location and then filter by time, by user, or by keywords within that location. So you might find, let's put a geofence around the speakeasy or vent rail, and then I'm looking for people tweeting about, you know, vlogger, for example. Or I'm looking for people who are saying the word thirsty, um, or other types of content. Or you can switch over to our collage view and then just look at all the photos and the pictures and then find the type of content that you're looking for, for like user-generated content, for example. Good answer. Other questions for RJ? All right, I've got a question. So you guys have a pretty big location here in Indianapolis. Um, how big are you trying to grow in Indy, and um, are you looking to go into other geographies beyond Chicago? Yeah, we, we started the, the Indy office in October. Uh, I was our first employee here in Indy, now we have 18. Um, downtown in the circle. We're looking to high, we're looking, we're about 35 total. We're looking to be 75 by the end of the year. Uh, a lot of that growth is going to be here. Um, so we're excited to find good talent and uh, talented developers, sales reps, those types of folks here. You have a lot of former talent from Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Uh, talk to me a little bit about that. Like, what is it like working at Geopedia versus where you were previously at Exact Target? Yeah, we've, we've got uh, five folks from the marketing cloud who joined Geopedia in addition to some of the um, experts from other software companies here in town as well. And it's kind of amazing to come in, I worked for Exact Target for 10 years, to come in with all of that knowledge and know what to do um, from day one. Now, I, I'm pretty, uh, we're trying to do everything at once, and I think the whole team's trying to do everything at once so we know what it should look like. But uh, it's great to work with an experienced group of people from all the different uh, companies here in Indy, as well as hiring college new grads out of school who are ready to go. We just launched our college recruiting program, so it's awesome. Yeah, we're excited to do it again. Well, cool. Well, hopefully we can get someone from Geopedia to present at Verges up in West Lafayette and Bloomington yeah. or Terre Haute. Yeah, we'll love that. Place. Cool. All right, thank you so much, RJ. Yeah, thank if you. If people have questions, they can be around. Yeah, I'll be around. All right, cool. Let's give it up for RJ.